Welcome climate viewers. Today is March 14th, 2015. My name is Jim Lee and I'm here to give you a quick update on the geoengineering SRM guys. So uh, the solar radiation management fellas are having a little party this weekend and it's all going to be live broadcast. You come over here to SRM Science 2015. That is on srms-cambridge.eng.cam.ac.uk. They are also broadcasting all of this live on uh, YouTube right now. You can see right here, um, Envisionation. And this is on the Nick Breeze uh, Geoengineering channel. And uh, as you can see, there have been a couple videos so far. They're about three hours each. So if you're really into this stuff, I suggest you come over here and check it out. Get involved in the conversation. As you can see, they are live right now. And you can bring that up. And uh, you can see that Alex uh, Alexander Hunter is in there. And uh, I'm in there as well. And uh, one other person. So really, nobody's over here. Seven people watching. Lots of people really interested in geoengineering. Nobody really involved. So I'm going to suggest that you all come over and try to get involved today. They will be uh, live broadcasting for the remainder of the day. And uh, make yourself heard, please. So you come over here. Their hashtag is SRMS15 over here on Twitter. And you see the um, forum, from Cl forum for Climate Engineering Assessment. That's a little thing up here about chemtrails. And I just want to throw this in here and then I'm going to get out of your way for today because I want to um, get some stuff done today. And I would be remiss not to bring this to your attention. How a group of conspiracy theorists could derail the debate over climate change. And basically they're talking about, you know, how chemtrail people are really screwing up their dialogue, you know, trying to talk about geoengineering the sky. Now, I just want to stay for the record that you know, we're already past this point. You guys can, can keep on calling us conspiracy theorists, but you're just, your, your heads are so far up your ass. I don't even know how to, how to put it any other way. Um, David Keith has a nice piece over on uh, keith.c's.harvard.edu slash chemtrails, where he basically says the same thing. And at the end of all places, he's linking to Metabunk, Contrail Science, that's Mick West and Skeptic Forum. Now these, these debunkers, these skeptic guys, they don't know their head from their ass either. They don't read any of the actual research out there because if they did, they know that this isn't even up for debate anymore. Um, there, and I, and I want to be very specifically clear to the scientists. I know a lot of people aren't going to get what I'm about to say, you know, go do your homework. Radiative forcing experiments on contrails are geoengineering solar radiation management field projects. If Israel et al. 2009 is considered a freaking geoengineering SRM experiment, then this definitely is. If this field experiment on studying solar radiation passing through aerosol layers is a geoengineering project, then chemtrails are contrails. Chemtrails and contrails are geoengineering. This guy's got a, a car blowing smoke out of it. And this is a military Russian hind helicopter blowing smoke out of it. All they did was get between the aerosol layer and the sun. Smoke plume, aerosol layer, sun. This is a geoengineering solar radiation management field project. Similarly, the E-piece, Eastern Pacific, um, emitted aerosol uh, climate engineering experiment. E-piece was the same thing. They put oil and generators on the back of boats and planes and flew them off the Pacific and made clouds and then tested to see what the effects of those clouds on blocking sunlight was. Also considered and admitted to was a geoengineering solar radiation management field project. For, since 1997, when the IPCC first addressed contrails as a potential source of global warming, um, they've now recognized that contrails are trapping heat on the planet, and they are 
all over the globe <laughs> trying to figure out what the radiative forcing of these things are because if they can target put contrails in the right spot, they can do localized cooling. This is a field project. There are many hundreds of universities involved in trying to figure out aviation's impact on the climate. While they're trying to sell all this crap at SRM 2015, further blocking the sun, they have yet to address the real world implications of contrails trapping heat on the planet and the people that are currently actively engaged and experimenting on those. And here's the rub. While the Federal Aviation Administration's Aviation Climate Change Research Initiative is running the access to flights off the coast of California with 50-50 mixes of JP-8 and biofuel or Jet A-1 and biofuel, these biofuels are put there for <laughs> contrail control yet and their purpose is to reduce sulfur and carbon black dust emissions in contrails and in chemtrails in jet exhaust in flight pollution whatever you want to call it while the access to flights are trying to get rid of the contra the the sulfur in the um in the gas tanks these guys at the academy of finland are doing the exact opposite they're saying studying geoengineering with a climate model right here stratospheric sulfate injections with commercial aircraft not experimental aircraft not government aircraft commercial commuter flights commercial aircraft could be used to deliver sulfate into the stratosphere increasing sulfur uh, fuel sulfur content and flight altitude of intercontinental flights Sulfur content of the fuel should be increased to about 50 times the current level to have a significant cooling effect. The cooling effect would have would be confined to the northern hemisphere. As you can see here, it's the blue area. And then sea spray injections, that silver lining project. Manipulating shipping emissions. These are ship tracks. All the same thing. Okay. If Israel et al. 2009 and if um, I, I guess I'm going to wrap up now. If if those are all considered geoengineering projects, then uh, this damn sure is to gentlemen. So look into you know the other things that are, people are saying about putting stuff in gas. Realize they are experimenting on um, on contrails right now, and that contrails, chemtrails, they are a geoengineering project. You better bet your hands on that. Goodbye now.